remember where the mark was and the Tasmanian defender had come back off it. So just a, a behind to Frank as Reynolds kicks in and just chips it to Hibbert. North Ballarat seemed to be pretty active with uh, getting the Northern Territory boys down. Yeah, they've got a uh, effect. Um, at AFL level and starts to dominate, then typically a coach would roll a, a seventh defender or a plus one behind the ball. But in these situations uh, at the national championships, and it's also it also uh, folds back to the underage competition. Um, can he play forward? We've seen him do it before. We might see a little bit of that tomorrow. What about Shaq? See, Shaq, he's had such a great carnival. I know we should probably be talking about this game a bit more. I'll just be one once. Kids are now top A's that we saw as bottom ages last year. Down the front it goes. Franklin just got a little boot to ball. Did enough. Running through nicely is Hibbert. Doesn't he move well? Yeah, he looks he good, doesn't he? To Barn with the sport. Pretty long time now. You've been in the admin, you've been a coach, you've been a player. Do you really enjoy it as much as uh, coming down and watching the young kids come through? Is this the part of the development? Young players, because uh, the more games they play, the better they get. I know that's hard for <laughs> the Brisbane Lions supporters when we're down the bottom, but um, the youth and the really talented youth job. Uh, you know, Bark's obviously pretty well. Give us your thoughts on... Uh, the Tune in and half-time, you just say, a bit of Cyril magic when he was very, very young. Hibbard gets the kick in, good stretch, and a good take by Sushams. Have been drafted. Cyril, we mentioned. Matty Stokes been a really good player for the Cats. The Cats have done well out of the NT. And Stevie Motlop's going beautifully. 65 games, and we see Nakaya Cocker too. A little bit sore as he jogged off there after that contest. Now the kick from Reynolds on the way out just missed his target a little bit, but Hibbert clears it. But it's tapped, but just a little bit too much on it. A clearing kick. In fact, it's going to be a free downfield, is it? And away goes Hibbert. Pierce caught. And I think the players that are competent both both sides, you don't have to be brilliant both sides, but competent, it just gives them such an advantage in the modern game. Well, Pickers, we'll see a boy play for SA in the next game called Riley Bonner across half-back. He's a left-footer. Bounces over the top. Tasmania with some numbers here. Buchner back to Hibbert. Who's going drafting players of that ilk in terms of the development. How long do you give them to find their feet a little bit? Well, they're, they're all a little bit different. <laughs> Tasmania, how many jacks have we got on the other side? A bit light on, but there'll be some jacks later on this afternoon. Yeah, they have got a few, but oh, I think what the St Kilda have done over the last couple of years has been outstanding. Yep, it's, it's been a good. List, it really has. Yeah, exciting on list, uh, Saints. Here's a man he talked about in Kieran Lovell. Continues to win plenty of the ball. He drives ten. Yeah, that's that's where they're breaking down, yeah. boys. Yeah. That yeah. is right there. The NT half-backs are rebounding probably better than any Div 2 team I've seen over the last uh, last couple of weeks. Hampton, good pick up, but he's well caught by Hibbert. Stop that 4A forward. Yeah, now they've got some good vision here and they've got seven more inside 50s, which means they're kicking the ball more and they're going a lot more direct than the Tasmanian boys at the moment. 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that invisible ink or they get a pencil and, I need and an eraser. I need a, the light out. <laughs> On top of the uh, the 50 games of VFL footy that he did play, VFL, you can't discount those. Look at Lockie Neal and what he's doing oh, at Frio yeah. at the moment. Yeah, good player. He's uh, Michael Vosses, Andy McLeod's. It's, there's no surprise that they're champions of the game. So well, when you look at the guys today that have performed well, the Riolis, the Lovells, the Hibbards. Shortened games. Well, shortened games, yeah, they are really big numbers. Well, Lovell's on board. He's 28 already today. Yeah, he'll hit 30. And he'll get his 30 touches for sure. They're just, start, they're just starting to win these important balls inside the contest. It was Smith who did well there. Gardner had to get rid of it quickly. And he almost won a free kick there, Hibbert, for used his body well to protect them where the ball was going to drop. This is the important one, though, and he decides to go short. Just well, a lead on the wing to Hibbert. Three and a half minutes, provided you don't carve it up. And that's a good kick. That's good vision. One really home for Northern Territory. The boundary line's close. Hibbert keeps it in by hand.